What's up guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create this streetwear design here Step by step, it's more like of a tutorial I'm doing this because it is day 18 of creating one streetwear design per day for 30 days This design here was inspired from a word that was randomly extracted from a word online generator Which was ghost, so I'm gonna create a design involving a ghost It's a really fire graphic and so please stick around till the end Here we are in Photoshop so the main idea I want to follow for this graphic is to create a design involving as the main sketch this uh image here that I found from unsplash.com and that's what I basically did is that I removed the white background and added as you can see some filters so I want to use this graphic here since I really like it and uh, it summarizes pretty well the idea of a ghost uh, and uh, I think that if we put it directly printed on a t-shirt in big uh, it would work pretty well after I'm gonna add some colors and make it more nice but for now I just want to outline the main graphic so as you can see this is the main let's say sketch and then over it I will add some prints in just some basic colors like black and white so here's uh, the second design i'm gonna add for this whole t-shirt which focuses on the image that is below the sketch here which is basically a ghost uh, with a threshold effect over it uh, and then i'm gonna add this text here written in this curly ghosty type of font uh, handwritten uh, of course hand drawn uh, over it just to make it more spooky and uh, more nice in a way so here i'm just uh, writing everything over it it. moreover I'm just following an off-white type of design the usual off-white design with the front that has on the left chest uh, some black and white image and on the right the logo so I'm gonna follow something like that uh, here the idea of the ghost uh, this hand-drawn ghost I really like it because I'm gonna add it over the image of the ghost that is now below and uh, I'm gonna add it in a way that it that curves around the ghost uh, I think it's a really awesome concept uh, and it adds that creative vibe moreover it's in black and white and uh, i think it works perfectly over the main design that i was talking about earlier which focuses on the creation of a colorful uh, 3d sketch with some gradients over it so i'm just gonna put the first design that we were creating uh, in big uh, on the front part and then on the chest uh, i'm gonna add on the left side this uh, graphic here with the the image of the ghost and this text here and on the right some of my logos in ghost themed uh, logos so i think i'm gonna add some lines some things i'm just gonna work later about it uh, now here i'm just doing the first sketch that then unfortunately spoiler alert i will change it and recreate it by hand uh, because it's nice but it doesn't really fit uh, this image here i wanted it to fit uh, better so i just uh, deleted it and started again on the right uh, you can see the two logos that unfortunately i made them off camera i forgot to record part of this design because i was really like focused on creating a really cool design so here i'm just recreating ghost text to make it fit uh, the actual canvas uh, as you can see i'm trying to put it around the actual ghost uh, I think it's a really cool concept, I will color the inside of the text uh, to make it more nice since it's okay but it looks a little bit messy without the covering of the inside part of the design. So as I said before, unfortunately I forgot to record even part of this design here, I was making uh, this image here and even the text below this image. Unfortunately, I was really, really focused on creating. So I just want to talk you through how can you create something similar. I would just suggest to sketch something really quickly, even if you don't know how to draw, just sketch something quickly on a paper, even some text, some layout, just to sketch and then import it in Photoshop and create using the pen tool, create just an outline and then you can work from there. Moreover, I would suggest that if you don't know how to sketch, uh, you can always just start in Photoshop and just mess around and play around with shapes, uh, tools uh, and of course even the pen tool which I was talking about earlier and put all the things that you brainstormed before or even just in your head inside Photoshop. Here I'm putting it on a mock-up, it's really nice. Moreover, I just want to talk you through even how to think of ideas. For this case here, I searched some ideas on Pinterest uh, 
so I suggest to go on Pinterest then the step two is to actually catch some designs on paper and then from there just uh, create something cool in Photoshop and uh, I would suggest to once you're in Photoshop only you need is uh, techniques and inspiration so for the techniques uh, in this video they are free but of course if you want to learn more just check out all of my other videos for this design I've used uh, pretty much I think two slash three techniques the first one is of course to hand draw the graphic and the text in this case it's ghost i would suggest to actually draw stuff because you're just making it yours and personal and unique since even the fonts that i'm using everyone can use them so i mean i just want to create something different from the usual instead if you don't like to sketch things up and draw yourself you can just search some images from unsplash and other websites grab them but i suggest of course to modify them and make them look very different from the actual image you used in the first place this at least is my creative process and this in my opinion a good habit that you will want to keep up and learn each day and every day and use it of course just because even after when you're going to create something professional you can't just grab an image a random image from online and just use it randomly for copyright reasons then the second feature that i added for this graphic here is the threshold effect which adds that black and white vibe and then the third effect that i will be using right now is uh, the gradient map option which it just adds some gradients over a certain image in this case i'm gonna add as a certain image the orange image here and then i'm gonna add some colors and make it more of a gradient 3d and infrared gradient map and i really like it so i'm just gonna create something like that here i'm just focusing on the different shades of this orange and i didn't like too much the bottom part since unfortunately i needed to cut it out so i just removed it partially with the eraser tool it's really nice so fortunately i'm making it cool and really really nice in a way. Another thing I want to add to make sure that everyone knows this is that to get the final crisp and really good design, you just need to practice, man. I mean, for everything you should practice and even for graphic design. I think you should just watch my videos once per day for 30 days as I'm doing this challenge right now and just use the same skills that I'm doing for my graphics and apply it to your graphic. And then if you do so, just tag me on Instagram and I will just give you some feedback. Passing back to the t-shirt, I really like this gradient map. Speaking of gradients, I think now it's the time to add all the gradients over this ghost. I'm gonna focus on warm colors since I want to make it a sort of infrared type of design. By the way, this is not an infrared uh, gradient map. I'm just applying it uh, specifically for this design. So if you apply it maybe to another graphic, it won't work in the same way. So I would just suggest to use uh, and just mess around around with the gradient map for each design and each image you are applying the gradient map over it since it will change a ton by the way if you would like to know some fire cool gradient maps i suggest to click in the description the first link since it's just a video that i made where i show you five cool gradients that i use uh, to create streetwear designs and uh, instagram edits it's really nice so here i added some vibrance and some colors uh, I went from uh, a really warm color in the outside so red uh, to yellow to this greenish and added some vibrance over it so here's basically the final result then i modified some settings to make it more vibrant since it looked a little bit pale in a way here's the final result with the three criterions to grade this design since i'm making one design per day for 30 days i'll catch you tomorrow with a new video bye bye